bring it from the bottom ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages welcome back to the mind blow channel my name is the inspector and today i want to blow your mind with a simple fact did you know that there are actually crypto games where you can earn a hundred dollars a day we'll be checking out five games starting from the least amount of money you can earn up to the most amount of money you can earn and the top game you'll be very surprised how much you can actually earn just by playing it he is earning a wax per day yes per freaking day now some of these games require no investment while some of these games do require investment we'll be talking about all that and if you think that sounds interesting and want to see this beautiful avatar in your subscription box every single day then subscribe hit the little bell icon so you never miss out on one of these videos in the future and with all that being said let's do this uh, first of all i want to give a huge shout out to the person who was actually playing these games and testing all this out so nft gaming his link will be in the description down below as well as his video for his earnings gotta give credit where credit is due guys so obviously as i said before all this really depends on the value of the token these earnings are for november of this year so this month right now on number five we have a a little old game called Mir 4. Now Mir 4 is a totally free to play no investment MMORPG that you can jump on and play right now. Uh, in my personal opinion it's a very fun game as I do like MMOs but it is a very slow game so it'll take you like a week to level up to the point where you can actually uh, claim your coins. And so for the whole month of November how many coins has NFT Gaming actually earned? He has earned 11 Draco. Now a lot of people think that Mir 4, there's a lot of bots that take up your mining spots. And basically for those of you who don't know, in Mir 4, you earn by actually mining inside of the game. So you mine the dark steel and then you can convert that later into the Draco coin. So 11 Draco coin, right now the Draco coin's value is $1. The all time high was $27. So at the all time high price, you would have gotten almost $300 so that's $227 for just one day of mining and if you do play Mir 4 right now here's some tips you don't want to mine where there are a lot of people you're gonna want to level up up to level 75 that's the best level you can get if you want to earn from Mir 4 you want to get to snake pit valley and this is where you want to mine because this is the most profitable spot now 11 Draco in current prices is $11 and that's how much you can make right now in Mir 4 for a day's work. Game number two. Now yes, this is an auto miner and you will have to buy an NFT for, in order for you to actually auto mine. But how much can you actually make? Well, NFT gaming in one day can make four B coins. Now I'll tell you more about it in just a little bit as to how much that is in dollar amount. But basically you will need MetaMask, you will probably need their own Bitcoin. Then you go to their website, you connect your wallet, you log into the game, uh, you buy one or ten bomber heroes in the shop, and then you can also buy a house in order for your bomber crypto to rest after a day's work because you know these digital assets also need a little bit of rest. They can't just keep making money 24-7 because <laughs> they're working hard, man. Oh man, I've just been reminded how much you can actually earn for the number one game, and it's totally insane. But before we even get to that, how much does bomber crypto actually make? So four coins, uh, eight point nine dollars per coin. Your favorite subject, guys. Math with the inspector. Thirty-two dollars for a day's work in Bomber Crypto. But you do have to invest in the house, and you do have to invest in the NFT. Now, how much do you actually have to invest? Well, I'm about to find out and let you know. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna take it to Inspector from the past for today's sponsor. Thank you, uh, Inspector from the future. This is always super weird. Thanks to sponsors, I can do all the giveaways that I do. And whenever I get paid, you guys get paid. So for 20,000 subscribers, there will be another huge giveaway. So Crypto Battles is a very unique PvP blockchain game. Obviously, you can earn in the game, but here's how it works. Before each battle, a player places a bet. The bet sizes can be $5, 10, 20, 50 in any supported Binance Smart Chain token. You search for an opponent and after an opponent is found, the battle starts. So the game rules are simple. Both players have 100 warriors. The game is divided into three stages with seven bases in it. There's seven bases in total and your goal is to place as many warriors as you can on your bases. So the first stage has three bases and the second and third turns have two bases each. If you capture more bases than your opponent, you win and you get paid that you played. If you place 10 bucks, 
you will get 18, if you place 20, you will get 35, so 1.x the amount you put in, basically. Thank you, Inspector from the past. Guys, I figured it out, so 10 Bitcoin is what you need for one hero, so at current market prices, that's 83.6 dollars, and as for the house, houses are limited supply, so if you do want to buy a house, uh, there's not a lot left. Moving on to game number three, and guys, remember, number one is gonna blow your mind, or dare I say, you're gonna get mind blown. Crypto Mines is a sci-fi play to earn NFT game designed to provide users with a fun experience by collecting workers and spaceships to travel through the universe searching for Eternal, their coin, Eternal that is. This mineral allows them to live another day and make some profits along the way. Crypto Mines also requires you to buy an NFT in order to start playing the game and it is also on the Binance Smart Chain. In order to mint one spaceship you will need 0 0.0472 Eternal, that may not sound like a lot but Look at the value of the coin, it's $426, dollars, ladies and gentlemen, that's a lot of, a lot of if you know what I mean. But then again, this is somewhere around $20 if my math is right. So that's how much you need to mint one spaceship, as for the workers, they're the same price, so around $40 to really get into the game, then later you can buy fleets, expeditions, go on raids, um, create your own fleet to go on raids, there's a lot you can do here, and the game looks pretty promising, it is play to earn. Now, how much can you actually make? Well, as per NFT Gaming, he is making 0.047 eternal a day. Now, if one coin is $430, how much is 0 0.0478? Guys, my brain is gonna melt from all the math. Luckily, we have Binance right here. I'm gonna set the price. This is the price. How many coins? That's 0 0.0478. So that's $20.5 a day from playing. And it's a little under $20 for how much you actually need in order to mint a spaceship for yourself. So yes, I know, all that is cool, all that is fine, but what about the real games that give you more money? Well, where's that? You promised us that, Inspector. <laughs> Don't fret. It is coming, moving on to game number 4. Crypto Cars is the first NFT racing game developed by the team used to work at Gameloft and Genshin Impact Project. Each car has 4 stats points, speed, power, drift and fuel. As a player, in Crypto Cars your mission is to win races, player versus player or player versus AI racing to get experience points and materials. To participate in a race, cars need fuel. Daily, fuel will be automatically refilled. Materials and cars can be sold on a marketplace. New players need to buy a car on the marketplace in order to start playing the game and in order to start earning some crypto. The Crypto Cars coin is worth 1.05 dollars and their game looks actually pretty cool. I actually genuinely like this design. Now let's see how much money you actually need in order to mint a car. Wow, over 300,000 players, over 300,000 cars. That is so insane, so many transactions. Now let me log in with my Binance Smart Chain wallet and let's unbox a new car. You have a 10% chance of getting a rare car. Okay, that's pretty cool. Newly opened cars will not be listed for sale in the next 15 days and only users with less than two cars can buy from the box. Now the price is 600 car. That's $600. I don't want to buy this box. This is a blind box. I don't want that. <laughs> so I guess rather than minting a new car, you're going to want to buy one from the marketplace. <laughs> now, all-time price, their coin was pretty low. It was over uh, $0.5 right now. Uh, the all-time high also was $1.7, and right now it's around $1. Well, as per NFT Gaming, he is making 45 crypto cars. So their coin C car per day for playing this game. So at current price levels, that's around 46 to 47 dollars per day. So let's do a quick math session and see if it adds up. So with those prices, I think it's even better to actually unbox a new car, which costs 600 car. And let's see, if you played for 15 days straight after buying their NFT, you would have 675 of their coins, so that's more than enough to buy a new NFT or convert them back and cut your losses so you would be um, really on a level playing field where you wouldn't have really spent anything. So 15 days of playing is what it takes to earn over 600, 600 bucks if you do invest in this game so yeah there is an investing curve definitely that some uh, gamers will definitely not like but then again for those of you who just want to invest in a game and kind of have a passive income it might be for you anyway all the links are in the description so you can check out everything for yourself and um last but definitely not least 
something I've been promising throughout the entire video. What is that game that makes over a hundred dollars a day? Well, you're about to find out. Farmer's World is the first farming game to function on the Wax NFT platform. Pick yourself a suitable tools, exploit various resources, buying land to build enormous farms, and enjoy the fascinating experience of a farmer working in Farmer's World's ecosystem. Now, in order to start playing, you need to buy an NFT, but this goes really for any game where you can earn a little bit more amount of money, you will need that first investing curve, obviously. Now, is it play to earn? Obviously it is play to earn, it does have NFT support, and the game does look pretty solid, and it's no surprise that they have one of the largest communities out of of all the NFT games with 150,000 players playing worldwide. So let's see here, they're doing a little sale. This looks like a little Christmas sale and I already feel very festive looking at this. Uh, the sale price, $159, blah, 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 blah. $159, there's 6,000 of these available for the ancient wood packs and you, you need any one of these really to really start earning. Now it does work on the wax blockchain and you do get paid in wax. They don't have their own coin that pays you so they pay you in wax. So the selling pressure is definitely a lot lower than um, all the other games that have their own coin. And I really think, I really think this is the future of gaming. The wax blockchain is totally gasless. You don't pay for any fees and um, I've been playing for example Huddle God which also works on the wax blockchain. So the wax blockchain can integrate NFTs into any game and let's see their current price is zero point Point six nine dollars that's that's the perfect price actually so let's see here their all-time high was almost one dollar was it a dollar no it was 0 0.93 cents and this happened a few months ago oh no never mind when I go to all-time their all-time high was way above that this looks like a pump and dump scheme when you look at it like this 2.5 dollars but it's definitely not a pump and dump scheme uh, this coin might just go up a value it might stay on the same lane it's on but either way the wax blockchain does something amazing and they deserve everything so basically in order to start playing you need energy plus tools once you have both of those you can mine and you can mine one of three things you can either mine some food or get get the food token so fishing rod fishing nets boats um, you can get the wood token with the axes saws and chainsaws or you can get the gold token with the mining machine now the wood and gold token go back to the tools while the food token goes back to energy so here's the NFT collection and uh, for example you can buy the ancient stone axe for $347 which I would definitely not recommend for 500 wax actually. I have barley seed, you got um, a lot of things that you can buy from here, a lot of cheap things, a lot of um, expensive things obviously. Here are the cheapest things, so the farmer coins. There's a lot to do in this game and it really does require a separate video on its own. If you guys do want to see that let me know. And now how much? does it make? Well, as per NFT Gaming, as we've been tracking his progress of November throughout the whole video, in Farmer World, he is earning 127 wax per day. Yes. Per freaking day. That's 127 wax. And here's looking at his whole list. That's over $100 per day. As of current price it's a huge blockchain doing amazing things and it has a market cap of over 1 billion dollars so any game that wants to be an nft game should definitely definitely work on the wax blockchain did i say whack blocks chain i meant wax blockchain okay <laughs> I'm, I'm slurring my words here the only game really here uh, where you don't really have to invest in order to start playing is mere four i think all the other games require at least a little bit of an investment. Uh, crypto Mines requires the least amount of investment, and I think Crypto Cars requires the most amount of investment. So, really, it's up to you if you want to play any of these games. For me personally, I've been playing a lot of Tetan Arena for the past two days. I've been having a blast with that game. And also another thing... Another... <laughs> And also another thing I want to say guys is there will be a couple of sponsored videos coming up So the sponsored stockpile is really piling up and for 20k subscribers there will be a huge Giveaway, but guys you need to really watch the sponsored sections. I can see uh, um, How many people click away how many people actually watch so in order for this to work You will need to, to at least watch that and I, I don't really pick bad sponsors I always vet them myself. I always try uh, to incorporate some sort of play touring game or really um, anything where you guys can earn as well and then as well do a giveaway. So anyway, yeah, with all that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.